Prime Minister promised that Wednesdays would be Prime Minister's question period. His public itinerary indicates he's in Ottawa and he was even spotted in the building. So the question is for the Prime Minister about the carbon tax chaos he has unleashed. He has paused the tax on some heat for some people leading the Government of Alberta to threaten a lawsuit, the Government of Saskatchewan to threaten not to collect the tax, NDP provincial parties in the West even turning against it, and some First Nations saying the entire thing is illegal. Will he reverse all of this chaos and just axe the tax? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, let's actually bring the temperature down and talk about exactly what we've done here. We've accelerated the replacement of home heating oil for heat pumps. The question was for the Prime Minister. Yeah, right. He has unleashed carbon tax chaos across the country. After saying he would never bend, he backed down because I kept beating him in these debates in the House of Commons, and he put a two-year pause on some heating oil for some people, causing Saskatchewan to threaten not to collect the tax, Alberta to threaten a lawsuit, six provinces coming out against the plan, First Nations saying it's illegal. If he's so proud of himself and what he's done, then why won't he stand up now and defend it? Yeah. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition seems to be too busy patting himself on the back to actually do his homework. <laughs> At the end of the day, heating oil costs anywhere between two and four times the price of natural gas. It is a particular driver of energy poverty in this country. We have taken steps forward to improve affordability by enabling the, the, the implementation of heat pumps, which will save people up to $2,500 a year, but doing so in the context of a plan to flake climate change, something again that the Leader of the Opposition has said nothing about in the years since he became the Leader of the Opposition. Badly for that Liberal minister who's been abandoned by his leader, who the leader of their government won't even stand and defend his own decisions. We know that on Thursday, he suddenly, after having his door beat down by terrified Liberals about to lose their seats, decided to flip-flop and bring in a temporary pause on attacks until after the election, dividing Canadians once again into two different classes. If he's so proud of how he's divided people, if he's so proud of how he's forcing Canadians to choose between eat, heating and eating, why won't he have the guts to stand up and say so now? I'll tell you who's feeling abandoned by their leader. Conservative Albertans, New Democrat Albertans, Liberal Albertans. You know why, Mr. Speaker? Because Danielle Smith is trying to take Albertans out of the Canada Pension Plan. Mr. Speaker, that carbon tax question was for the Prime Minister on Prime Minister's question period today. And I know that I, I don't have my glasses on, but that guy doesn't look like the Prime Minister, <laughs> Mr. Speaker. You're right, it's not. So I have a very simple motion. It says that given that the government has announced a temporary three-year pause to the federal carbon tax on home heating oil, the House call on the government to extend that pause to all forms of heating oil, period. Will the Prime Minister have the courage to stand up and indicate whether the vote on this motion will be a free vote for his members? Mr. Speaker, that we as Liberals are united on. We are united on the fact that the Leader uh, of the Opposition is trying to destroy the action that our government is taking on climate change, not only our government, but governments across the world that are finally turning the tide, because he wants to go back to the time when they were attacking climate action. Mr. Speaker, we're united in the fact that we led the G7 in 2020 and gro 2022 in growth, that we're going to be number one again in 2024, that 64,000 jobs were created in Canada. Which country would he change places with? When he denigrates Canada, what country does he think better? Because this is the greatest country in the world, and we will stand up for it, Mr. Speaker. Well, we have someone now auditioning for the job of Prime Minister. There we go. <laughs> and the cats away. The mice will play.